I am tired of pretending it's okay for these big men to ride the tiny motorcycles called Suron and Talaria. This is a small motorcycle. It is teensy tiny, especially when I put my foot up on the peg. I want something big for myself, something powerful with a big range and big battery, well built with the proper motorcycle components something that performs well in a city and off-road. Approach the build differently, be unique, eye-catching and perform well long-term with a high discharge rates. Will I succeed or is there a catch why nobody makes these yet? I'm over six foot two and I want a full size motorcycle. I want the battery to last a long time, so it needs to be overkill, so it doesn't get ruined with a high discharge and high charge rates. We are gonna incorporate the built-in charger again, but this time we're aiming for four kilowatts charging power. I love this part because I went through the hustle of carrying the charger in my backpack, and <laughs> this is going to be lovely. It needs to have heavy duty components like a rims, tires, suspension. And lastly, it needs to be easy for manufacturing. Simple design, minimum parts, minimum procedures, while keeping the quality high. I noticed a lot of manufacturers copy the same formula for frames that have been around forever. The problem I see is these frames were made around completely different hardware, like a fuel tank, combustion engine or starting battery. I think this new tech deserves a fresh approach and I am willing to take the risk. Knowing the right battery configuration first is the most important. I want a lot of power and a lot of range. I decided to aim for a 4.6 kilowatt hour power bank capable of 630 amps discharge. We're planning on using only half of its rated power to maximize its lifespan. It won't ever degrade from excessive riding, fast charging or overheating. I want this bike to be durable and last as long as possible. We're making a base holding all the components and attaching the seat post, carrying rider separately. This concept creates a platform. A platform where we can completely redesign the whole seat post to work better for a hunter or a delivery person, post office, police and so on. The spine is like a separate entity which can be added to for a variety of purposes. It's relatively easy to make a skeleton around all these parts, but I don't know how to attach the motor and the swing arm to the frame yet. Having a functioning prototype should not be such a problem, but I want this to be a good looking motorcycle. Every detail, every angle matters. The motor I chose has been well tested by the motocross community. It has an internal gearbox with 1 to 2.35 ratio and it gives the whole motorbike so much more power. We will run a 90 volt system which is higher voltage than the standard is. The battery is 91 volt, 60 amp hour providing 30 kilowatt peak power with expected range around 120 kilometers. The controller of my choice is as always the best controller on the market, Nuclear P24F. Shout out to the Nuclear team for all the great work. Built-in chargers work extremely well on our Cyberbike model and after a long-term testing we feel very comfortable including this feature again on this model. This time we're aiming for 4 kilowatt of charging power. This would charge this massive power bank in a little over an hour. 
we have this magnetic door on a cyber bike and I would like to take the concept a bit further. I would like to have access from the top of the bike, not the side like on the cyber bike. I would like to 3D print the door from a flexible filament working as joints for a harder PTG plastic. Imprinted magnets would keep the door in a closed or open position. I think this flexible door with clipping magnets would add to the good feeling of the user experience. It happened to us multiple times. We thought we had the right formula, exported all the files for production and discovered right after fundamental mistakes. Like the battery not fitting into the frame. It is always a bummer feeling, like a dead end, but what do you do? Quit now? No way. Just suck it up and move forward. It is a constant trial and error. Big benefit at least is we make all the mistakes in the 3D only. Not wasting time and resources with physical mockups. One big problem we encounter, bending the seat post tubes. We made a custom made die for bending tubes and learned the hard way. There is a minimum radius a tube can bend without deforming. I believe it's such a basic mistake for all the fabricators out there, but well, now I know too. A few months ago we built a frame jig. It's a structural part we can mount our frame parts on to hold them in the three-dimensional space, always at the same place and angle. This way we weld the frame together and it's the same exact geometry every single time. I invited a welder also named Pavel and we quickly became friends. Pavel is a real professional and immediately convinces me he is the right guy for the job. He gives us a lot of feedback on how we can make things better for him to do his job. We discuss what parts are important to be welded and what parts will be less stressed. This first frame is just a proof of concept and I know it will end up on a workshop wall one day. So it's not particularly important to make the welds nice. I want speed this time instead, as I can't wait to ride this thing. Some of you following our channel might have noticed I took a risk and purchased a non-functioning CNC press brake. It turned out to be a big mistake. We have had it for 5 months now and it still does not work. I mainly purchased it for bending the frame and battery covers. We are ready to make the first prototype, but nothing to bend it on. It's time to improvise. Great news, we found a company really quickly who can help us out, who do exactly this type of a smaller scale dynamic projects quickly executed. This is a 2 mm metal, it can be bent in hands, that needs to be accurate and repetitive, so we can be tweaking the finest details and we always have predictable exactly the same frame. So we are just taking the metal sheet cut on a CNC and dropping them off straight at that shop. I'm so excited. We have the jig ready so we can start welding immediately. Ooh. 
Bacha, je to něco neskřip... neskřipné? Ty vole! Hm? Už to je teda. This is unbelievable. Mission succeeded. It only took Pavel a few hours and the frame is finished. All the tolerances, mistakes and imperfections are exactly the same. Let's start mounting the components. Fantastico. We quickly learn it's hard to install the motor. We underestimated how tight the fitting is, so we have to grind off a few sharper corners to slide it in correctly. It's an incredibly fulfilling feeling to see an idea become reality. It looks identical to the 3D model. Raining. Well, luckily, it doesn't impact me. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. We've been doing daily improvements. Today on our agenda is sorting out charger and uh, we changed the position of the shock. That was nice to just cut off certain parts, weld them together, test, uh, cut them off again, weld them again, test again and again and again up until seems to be like pretty good geometry for the shock now. Next today, we want to extend the foot pegs a little bit. That's not a perfect geometry. So we want to weld to it and improve this little detail. I feel very privileged at this last phase to be mounting on the top and the bottom cover <laughs> and enjoying myself how the finished product looks like. First hand. This is first charging, I'm so excited. Uh, I'm gonna give it a bit of a charge. In the meantime, I'm gonna uh, put on the safest clothes I have and do very careful, <laughs> very careful first drive. It's a big moment for me and the whole team. All, all the guys went home because we just, just finished tightening all the bolts. And this is a result after six months of research and development. So I hope it will work out. Okay. <laughs> so my progression is gonna be very slow and careful, then a little bit faster then a little bit uh, bumpy roads and then it will be a little bit faster on the bumpy roads <laughs> Whoa. 
wow that feels rock solid i like the white feel it's like bulky and it has a lot of power and i i hear the mechanical sound of the transmission in the motor it's ridiculous wow <laughs> i want to file off part of the frame because chain is hitting it and then i'm going back on the road <laughs> How do I evaluate this? I really love how this thing turned out. This has been my dream for a long time and I just can't express how happy I am. The battery is massive. We learned so much on this first prototype and I think it's like 85% done. It doesn't look like anything out there and that's what really attracts me because everything seems to be kind of the same. And this is really powerful and it's a lot of fun. It has such a big potential for a massive storage right here from a hard shell case that would be magnetic clipping on this. I see so much stuff we can improve on this. We collected a lot of valuable data uh, building this one and we're already implementing everything for the final product. I'm happy to announce we'll be launching a Kickstarter campaign with this particular bike. If you want to support this project or maybe you want to pre-order one, click the link down in the description. All of our bikes can be easily made street legal in the United States and this one is included as well. It's an easy path. I haven't really decided on a color combination yet. I think this could be like a matte black, gray. I don't know yet, but I would appreciate if you have a good idea to leave the comment down below in a comment section. I'm really interested what you guys think because this has a potential to even be something screaming. I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You make all of this possible. Because of you and a YouTube platform, we can slowly acquire all of these tools and renovate the workshop to allow us work on projects like this. If you're interested in something smaller than this, even with pedals, you should check out our website, mysuperebike.com. I would recommend eBike version 5 or Cyberbike. They're both amazing bikes with different features. And I guarantee they will improve your life. <laughs> They're awesome. Lastly, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification down below so you don't miss the following video where I'm going to be testing it and implementing everything I learned. Thank you again.